I smoke. Welcome back to No Filter MMA. This is your boy BJ back with another video short. I told y'all the video shorts are coming back and they're back. They are back. So let's talk. After so MMA Junkie reports that after first TKO win, this was a, this article is a month old and I didn't even get a chance. I missed it. At the first TKO win, UFC's Montana De La Rosa would love to fight Antonina Shevchenko. That's a good fight. But the problem with this fight is, the problem with this call-out is, will Antonina Shevchenko take the fight? Will Antonina Shevchenko entertain a fight with Montana De La Rosa? Or is that another dangerous, is that another dangerous opponent for Antonina Shevchenko? What is Antonina going to do? She going to duck this smoke or is she going to take the smoke? Because at this point, Antonina Shevchenko needs a win. She need to fight whoever says they want to fight Antonina or whoever the UFC puts in front of Antonina. Antonina don't have, she's not on the same level as Valentina Shevchenko. She can't pick and choose. Now, if a champion is out here picking and choosing, I'm okay with that because they're the champion. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have earned the right to say, mm, I'd rather fight this person than this person. I know it's not the most ideal way that a champion should act, but if in my eyes, if a champion says, you know, I really don't want to fight such and such, I think that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But as we all know, whether you want to believe it or not, Jillian Robertson already called out Antonina on multiple occasions, and a fight was offered to Antonina Shevchenko, and that we have yet to see Antonina and Jillian Robertson step into the cage together. So now uh, we got Montana De La Rosa saying she wants to beat up Antonina Shevchenko. Now, the question is, will Antonina take the fade? Will Antonina take another fight with somebody who can very easily submit her? That's the question. That's the question. <laughs> I would read through this article, y'all, but I'm driving. You know what I'm saying? So I can't quite like read through the article, you know what I'm saying, to keep my eyes on the road. Y'all gonna have me wrecked up here. But we have yet another call out of Antonina, and I'm, I'm curious to see if they make this fight. I'm curious to see if the UFC says, you know what? At this point, Antonina, you gotta take the fade with somebody like Montana De La Rosa. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're you on this level. Like, you're, this, these are the type of people that you should be fighting. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to, like, I, I want to say, this is like this, maybe the second time I've heard Montana say she wants to fight. Second or third time I've heard Montana say she want to fight Antonia. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, a long time ago, they made, they, somebody on Twitter was saying that. I, I think they were saying that after Antonina beat G Young Kim. But see, that was back in the time where we thought, where every, well, not we, where everybody thought that Antonina Shevchenko was going to come in and do some wrecking in the UFC. You know what I'm saying? And that's not how the story unfolded. But, you know, I want to see how Antonina Shevchenko responds to Montana De La Rosa calling her out. You know what I'm saying? Like, Montana said, I want to fight Antonina. I want to step in there with her. I want to beat her. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I mean, guys, don't shoot the messenger. Okay? Don't shoot the messenger. Because the messenger is only letting it be known what Montana De La Rosa said. And Montana says she wants to fight Antonina Shevchenko. Poor Jillian Robinson. Poor Jillian. Jillian called her out. And, and all of a sudden, it wasn't it wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't true that a fight was offered to Antonina Shevchenko with the name Jillian Robinson wrote on it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's see how Anthony, what excuses Antonina can come up with to not fight Montana De La Rosa. <laughs> because we all know how the fight will go. Like, we all know how the fight will go. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. We know that if this fight were to go to the ground, there's a, it's an absolute washout by Montana De La Rosa. It's an absolute washout on the ground, and, it's, and it'll be competitive on the feet. It's an absolute wash on the ground, and it'll be competitive on the feet. So let's see the, what moves Antonina Shevchenko make 
You know what I'm saying? Hell, we a month we a month away from this article. This article was from last month. And I still ain't seen that fight. I ain't seen the fight. I ain't seen I ain't heard nothing about Antonina versus Montana. You know what I'm saying? So uh I'm not gonna put the ducking stamp on her already, but let's see that if each other are their next fight. Let's see if Montana's next fight is is Anthony the Shevchenko. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter. I mean, wait a minute, but it makes sense though. It makes sense. Listen, it makes sense for her to fight Antonina because they both lost to Andrea Lee. They both lost to Andrea Lee. Montana lost to Andrea Lee, and Antonina got finished by Andrea Lee. So we'll see. This is your boy BJ back with No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that dislike, and if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out.